making it worse, the Iranian sire. We can't let that happen. Call President Obama and tell him it's never too late to do the right thing. Support the Iran Sanctions Act extension. Oh, there were plenty of fireworks at the debate last night over in 2016, the last one of the season. But what did the voters think out there? Here with some instant reaction is Lee Carter. She's a partner at Maslansky's and Partners. And she just put last night's biggest debate moments to the dial test. Be joining us throughout the morning. Lee, welcome. You are- is you talk, but you don't get anything done, Hillary. You don't. Just like when you ran the State Department, six billion dollars was missing how do you miss six billion dollars you ran the state department six billion dollars was either stolen they don't know it's gone six billion dollars if you become president this country is going to be in some mess believe me so look at that. You could see Republicans and independents both off the charts. You could barely see them at times. That was an A. Democrats there just didn't respond. But the key here to watch is those independent voters. In some states, we have undecided voters as much as 20%. So this is really, really important. He had a great night with independents. Right. Uh, real quick on WikiLeaks. Uh, okay, we're going to wait for that a little bit later. But the most fascinating point was when was she was asked about uh, when she was asked about her view on trade. She goes, "The Russians hacked." Are you going to support this hacking? So, yes. Lee, we're going to have you uh, back again. Talk about the dials, all right? Great, Thanks Great so job. Much. So, what do you think? It matters. Uh, make sure you write us, friends at foxnews.com. As- and friends, we begin with a Fox News alert. A sheriff's deputy shot down in cold blood. Officer Jack Hopkins killed while answering a disturbance call in Modoc County, California. That's near the border with Oregon. A suspect is in custody. He's the fourth California law enforcement officer to die in the line of duty in just the last two weeks alone. And then more trouble to tell you about this morning for the VA. The feds are now looking into claims that employees at a VA hospital in Colorado kept secret waiting lists in order to conceal long waiting times. The investigation by the VA's inspector general started after a whistleblower accused the Colorado Springs facility of falsifying records after a vet took his own life while waiting for treatment. And celebrations across Cleveland overnight and into the morning as the Indians crush the Toronto Blue Jays advancing to the world in what's called an insider attack in Afghanistan. Military officials say it was one U.S. service member and one civilian. They are dead this morning after a gunman wearing an Afghan army uniform opened fire at a military base near Kabul. Three others were hurt. The gunman was shot and killed. And we are praying for those American families this morning. We are indeed. All right, Heather, thank you very much. Meanwhile, Ainsley, if we were looking for you yesterday, where would we have found you? Couldn't find me. Couldn't find me anywhere. I saw you at breakfast. You went in the spin room. Watch. I want to talk to Fox and Friends (laughs) anytime, anyplace. Who won? Oh, this was by far the biggest win that he's had, the biggest one I've seen in a long time in a pres- presidential debate. What'd you think? Who won? I thought Donald Trump won. I think he had a great night. Who won tonight and why? So Hillary won overwhelmingly won because she was more prepared than he was. He's willing to declare the whole system rigged. That, hey, if it's a, a legitimate election, if the votes are, you know, if everything's fair and square, of course the, the results of the election will be um, accepted. However, we have to make sure that that most sacred trust that the people have to cast their vote, to elect their government, that that um, uh, that sacredness is being upheld. Donald Trump's the one person that is a change. Uh, he, he's a, he's an agent of change. He's the person that will drain the swamp of Washington D.C. And I think that that independents, by and large are really ready for that. I just say, God bless Donald Trump. I just really think the heart and soul of this guy, who he really is now, is a guy that wants to um, make things better. What did Hillary do that, that really stood out the most? Great job. I thought his closing statement was perfect. And he's right. The country's been left behind. I mean, the country has simply been left behind. We've been ripped off. We haven't taken care of national defense. We haven't taken care of our vets. We haven't taken care of our military. We haven't taken care of our educational system. I mean, we've been getting ripped off by every country around the world, and I think he nailed it tonight. I mean, I think he had the perfect tone. I think he had the perfect temperament, and I think he really brought the arguments to her. You know, the thing I'll tell you about my father is he will make a great commander-in-chief of this country. He will not get pushed around. He will not get bullied. He will not get used by other countries. Um, He will fight for this nation. 
uh, and America will start winning again. You know, I've had the honor of traveling around the country with a great group of women and really talking about the Donald Trump we know, because it's not the Donald Trump I think people hear about a lot of times when they watch television. And um, it's been incredible, the, the response we've gotten, the excitement from people around this country, men and lots and lots of women, which you don't hear about. Um, it, it's really, really special and, and it's an honor. This has been an election for change. And that's what my father is. He's someone who's going to get in that system. He's going to break up the cartels in D.C. He's going to break up these cushy little deals where everyone's everyone's buddies and everyone works for everyone else. And the only people that benefit are the people in and around D.C. while the rest of America suffers. That's got to change. And I think the American people are going to see that my father's the guy that can deliver that. Did you think this was his best debate yet? I do. I think he did a great job. Listen, he hammered the issues. He talked about the things. And, you know, he, every time he talks about things, something finally happens, right? He talked about trade deals being terrible early on. All of a sudden, well, now Hillary's against TPP. Okay, he talked about NATO, how it needs to adapt, how it needs to adjust, how people have to pay up. All of a sudden, they start paying up, and all of a sudden, they say, well, maybe, you know what, two weeks later, they say, well, yeah, we should adjust, and we should be able to deal with terrorism now. Hey, how come politicians aren't making these things happen? How come the outsider, who has no political experience, how come he's the guy forcing these people to actually make reasonable decisions? No different than what he said about accepting the results. When you have the stuff that you see, and everyone's probably seen by now, the Project Veritas tapes coming out, where you have rampant fraud, you have high-level people that are going and visiting the White House 300 plus times, that are going in there saying, hey, we're gonna lie about this, we're gonna send people inside violence. We've been cheating the system for 50 years by busing people into voting. They're breaking the law, they're admitting it on tape. And guess what? He's going to call that out, and maybe that'll shed the light on it, and maybe we'll be able to get changed to make sure that we do have an honest system and we do have a real democracy. Well, I guess we know where you did the interview. <laughs> right, right, the women's restroom. <laughs> right. Was there a sense in the first debate, he, the word came out, he was going to come out and talk to us, right? Donald Trump. Was there a sense at all in the spin room that he might talk? We didn't know. I knew that we were definitely getting Eric Trump because we had requested an mm -hmm. interview with, with some of the kids. Um, so I knew we were getting him. But yeah, that was surprising, the first debate. He walked in and everyone was saying in the spin room, it was my first time covering an election. So I didn't know that this normally doesn't happen. But everyone in the spin room, yeah. including y'all, was saying that rarely Whoa. happens. Yeah, that's but, why they have spinners right. to spin for. Yeah, that's exactly right. But the family, they've... Um, They've been, I think they've been in the spin yeah. room all three of the debates. Sure, right, Absolutely. they have. So, uh, yeah, great job. Late night, Thank quick you. turaround, we're back up. Same with you. All right. We've all been working hard. It's all right. our pleasure to bring you all these stories. Still ahead. Don